Good morning, guys. I am Tourist with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. I am going to be doing today's Ascension messages for April 14th through 18th, 2020. Um, before I get into that, we had some extra messages that came out while I was meditating and shuffling on the cards. And they were pray, meditate, fast. And I've been, been getting messages for the past several days um, to start fasting things that... And this is meaning like fasting things that are no longer serving a purpose for us. So fast for however many days you feel led to do, pray and meditate about it, and then fast. And let go of some things, release some things. This could be food, this could be people, this could be um, hobbies or actions. I don't know, it could be so many different things. But whatever you feel led to fast, um, make sure that you're fasting. And then it's not a race, slow down. What do you have left to do? And I and I when I wrote this down, I got a feeling of like collecting thoughts and getting things in order and like um, setting things in the right places and preparing. It was like a, a preparation type energy. Excuse me, just a second. And then, um, yeah, tidy up loose ends was the next the next message and then anchor your energy to the earth and I literally seen um, a couple different times when I've meditated with Nick or somebody else and we had seen anchors come up out of our body and they anchored into the earth and we seen like a silvery blue cord that came from our uh, light body and, and anchored to the earth so whatever that means for you take it how you want to but anchor it's very important is what i'm hearing at this moment very important to anchor our energy to the earth so um maybe we can just go ahead and do that before i get into this this um reading real deep but um let's just go ahead and close our eyes ground our energy anchor our energy what have you source god higher self archangels michael and raphael I ask that you come guide, lead, and instruct me through anchoring our energy. What did you mean by that message, please? Give me clear messages on what to do. Thank you. Okay, just imagine what I am saying that I'm seeing and it should happen with you. I'm seeing our physical body and our light body and the light body is lifting up out of this out of the physical body and I'm seeing like a separation between the two I'm seeing a purpley silver cord that's going from the light body and yours may look different I'm just seeing my that's the color I'm seeing but a purpley silver cord that's going from my light body that looks crystalline in nature by the way and it's connected to my physical human body okay now what I'm seeing is a nether purpley silver cord that's growing kind of it kind of looks like it's growing out of my belly button if, if I had a belly button in my light body so it's it's attached to my light body coming off and I see it like an anchor like an energetic looking purple uh, silvery white and blue anchor and it's floating down into I'm seeing it floating in into the physical earth as well as I'm seeing it like be, there being like a spiritual looking earth. It looks like another, it's hard for me to explain this, but like another dimension or an, like two earths stacked on top of each other, a spiritual one and a physical one. And it's, a, it's, it's almost like there's two separate anchors. One's going into the physical part of the earth and one's going into the spiritual part of the earth. And I heard yes. Now I'm starting to feel my energy being grounded. I, I can see like a pulsating white and purple light coming through this um, cord that's attached from the light body to the anchor. And I'm, and I'm feeling like um, a return. It's almost like my physical self is returning energy back to the earth. I, I don't see like a, a cord coming from my physical self to the earth, but I feel like I'm just feeding energy right back to the earth. So it's like it's cycling through the anchor up through the anchors um you know cord to the the light body through the cord from the light body to the physical body from the physical body just being sent out of our physical body and back into the earth so it's like this continuous cycle of energy this continuously grounding energy centering energy balancing energy and i heard yes 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 <laughs> Okay, and I, and I heard it is done, so I'm just going to leave it there. I'm not for sure 
if we just grounded both bodies or <laughs> what's happening, but I kind of feel a little um, light in my eyes right now. I feel like they're kind of floaty. Um, and I kind of feel like I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. What, where do I go right now? Okay, so when I was shuffling the cards, there was two cards that came out. The first card that came out was vegetarian or vegan. Fresh organic fruits and vegetables give you a boost of high life force energy, which elevates your spiritual frequency. And right away, every time this card comes out, I, I get a, a sense of green vegetables. Um, not necessarily fruits, but green vegetables. I see a lot of very green vegetables. A lot of like people picking things out off of the earth. So any kind of herbs and stuff that you can use, it's very going to be very beneficial at this time. And this is about people learning about different um things that you can eat out in nature that are not poisonous and learning which ones are the poisonous. I've been feeling guided to do that. This is also about people gardening and um, planting fruit trees and things like that. Yes, okay. Also, pray, meditate, and ask, what is it that I'm supposed to be fasting at this time? If it's a food, make sure that you find out what food it is. If it's a person, place, or thing. It, it could be so many different things, guys. It could be so many different things. Also pray about how long am I supposed to fast this certain thing. Sometimes it, they might tell you until you're not, until you've completely released it and not wanting that thing anymore or desiring that thing anymore. It could be so many different things. But um, the next card that came out is Geo the Slow. <laughs> okay. And this is the number 43 card, which rounds down to a seven, which is about spiritual awakenings. There's a lot of, let me, there we go. A lot of awakenings that are happening with everybody right now. Awakening of this, the, <clears throat> all of the stuff that needs to be released. So a lot of fears are coming up. A lot of things that are just uh, making you feel doubtful. Um, you're probably really getting in into a state of I don't want to say confusion, but going back and forth with feeling good and then all of a sudden just having a lot of fears come up or things to be healed or what have you. But I feel like some of you just need to slow down and pay attention to the things that you're feeling, uh, why you're feeling them. Um, some of them have deeper rooted or deeper seated issues than what you're actually feeling. So there's more healing to be done on a deeper level. I feel like a lot of this for some people have to do with abuse of some kind, some kind of physical abuse or sexual abuse. And either way it goes, I, I see hands being put on people in inappropriate ways. So a lot of you probably have things that still need to be let go of that. Um, and, and I feel like it's, it's something that's going to help you to be more readily available or open to a relationship that you're in now or maybe even a new relationship that might be coming into your life but this is really like getting rid of the old and stepping into the new but slow down like let yourself see it from different perspectives you know what have you i am going to read what the book has to say about this because i feel like there's a totally different message that wants to come out <clears throat> however i'm he hearing that slow down is is very accurate allow yourself to see from different perspectives a higher perspective um, with a higher state of consciousness is what I'm hearing. Okay, that's a 43 card. Cycles of time, slowness, waiting, patience. Slow down, sit back in your chair and think a little. Why are you going so fast? What do you hope to gain from it? Are you metaphorically trying to push the river? What kind of stress is being created in your life by hurrying? The presence of GEO in this in a reading indicates that a situation or issue is part of a long process that cannot well be hurried. So you're going through a state of transformation and some sort of place in your life, many is what I'm hearing, okay? Spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, energetically, all of that, okay? <laughs> you're going through all these changes and hurrying is not going to make it any better. It may even push some of you backwards a little bit because you're missing the lessons that you need to learn. And I heard cha-ching. <laughs> okay, it says... Um, it is important to settle in for a long haul and to set a pace that you can maintain for as long as needed, while remaining relaxed and patient. 
If you are short on patience, try cultivating your acquaintance with the singer of the chalice, which is card number 12. You will find life much more delightful if you do. Gio himself clearly does to judge from his face. Okay, so that's what this card is about. Just slow down, guys. Get it, you know, a different perspective. Allow yourself to just sit in the energies and allow yourself to learn, study, collect more information. Because a lot of us um, light workers who are in like the spiritual practice, so I'm just going to use this for example because this is me. There's a lot of things that I'm supposed to be working on, and I am. <clears throat> In the backgrounds that I'm not really sharing with you guys, I'm getting things together for these Zoom meetings from different appointments that I've had, and I'm seeing like different patterns of things that worked and open people up to their clairvoyance, clairsentience, um, abilities, their 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 visions, uh, their connection to everything. Like there's there's a, a way that I did things with all of these appointments that I've looked back on, and and I'm talking like 50, 60 appointments that I've been looking back on and seeing patterns okay so i'm getting all these patterns together and these are the exact same way that every week i'm going to do these appointments or zoom meetings whatever you call them where we can have like a big group of people awakening at the same time or allowing their gifts to become more uh, enhanced or heightened or whatever you want to call it but i've been learning these things so a lot of us are you know putting things together seeing where things fit but it's time to just sit back relax kind of get into the energy of whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing and allow the energies to just flow okay allow them to just flow and i'm gonna come here yes okay which cards am i supposed to go to please okay what messages do you have please for april 14th through 18th 2020 for all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process please thank you and i've been told to just take two of each card Clear yourself. Ask the angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed. Okay, for some of you, you're not you're not protecting yourself before you're meditating. So make sure that you pray before you meditate. Protect yourself from any um, toxic energies, any kind of things that may try to attach to your auric field, especially if you've been in a lower vibrating mood all day, been crying, been up and down with your moods, maybe having mood swings and stuff like that, sad or what have you, just fearful. I'm hearing if you've been real fearful, make sure that you're putting protection around you because that's when things will attach to your auric field and can influence your thoughts and actions even more. So make sure you're doing that. Um, Some of you, this is the energy of your twin flame. Um, they're not meeting up to your expectations with the way that they treat you or the way that they act or I don't know, whatever it may be. But make sure that you're keeping yourself clear. And I'm, I'm hearing this is like clear of your thoughts. Like your thoughts are just too much right now. They're overwhelming. You're, and it's it, you causing the overwhelmingness to happen. So step away from that. Some of you, this just may be talking about grounding your energy and clearing your auric field of any kind of toxic energies. Yes, I'm hearing. And some of you are supposed to be doing some kind of like tonics or um, maybe something to do with aloe vera because I'm seeing aloe vera and some, some kind of other liquid mixed together, but some kind of drinks that would detox your body okay clarifying your and detoxing the insides yes i'm hearing i'm seeing people going to the bathroom a lot so whoever that's for i've been going through some healing that's been happening which has pushed me into a detox anyway so some of you may be going through that as well sorry if you're going through that it is what it is um what cards am i supposed to get you now please Here's what messages do you have? Am I supposed to take this one? Okay, thank you. What messages do you have, please? Thank you. Laskuna, which is a 39 card, which is a 12, rounds down to number three. So the Ascended Masters could be working with you. Um, this could be about abundance. I feel like this is about... Um, Hold on a second. I, I have a lot of different feelings from this card. I get a feeling of patience again, blessings, love, joy. 
taking a step back. I'm hearing the word preparation. I'm getting a lot of just single words from this. Let me see what the book has to say. Blessings is standing out big time to me though. This is what the card looks like. Connection, I'm hearing. Number 39. A lot of times when I see this card, I get so many different things off of it, and I, I don't know if it's because of the pictures. Okay, Lasguna. Sunken treasure, discovery of self, adventure. I, and I'm here in exploration. Um, starter, let's see. Laskuna tells us to pay attention to our dreams, to listen to the murmur of the waters, to note the patterns in the damp fallen leaves, and to listen to the distant high sound of angelic music among the stars. She also suggests soothing baths, hot tubs, jacuzzis, trips to the nearby spa or hot springs, and dips in the handiest sea, pond, or mountain lake. Mud baths, there's that mud baths again, Vivian. Um, mud baths also help us quiet down and become strong enough to explore her territory, which is the earth and the waters, from the depths, from the depths to the heights. It is important to explore the inner realms she tells us that exploration of the outer realms is also vital. She suggests that we go places we have never been and try things we have never done. Take classes and subjects we always meant to study someday. Maybe even learn a new language and see where it takes us. Explore widely and deeply in our own world so that we can develop the adventurousness of our spirits. That is a really cool card. I don't think I've ever read that out of the book. If I have, I don't remember all that, but that's what that card's about adventure okay and I'm seeing the blessings that come with that as being like when you're on these adventures okay I'm just going to use myself as an example when I'm going out on all these hikes I've been going on hikes just about every single day except for a couple days I got cold I took a couple breaks but um when I'm there connecting with nature, there's a lot of healing that goes on. That's a blessing, a big, huge blessing. It sends me into another uh, higher state of awareness. It helps me to uh, do things better or differently in my relationships, things like that. So those are the, some of the blessings I'm talking about. The adventure would be, you know, going out into nature and connecting and, you know, just allowing myself to be, not having racing thoughts and stuff, but allowing myself to just be one with nature, connected with it. Yes. What cards am I supposed to go to, please? Angel cards, thank you. Angels, what messages do you have, please, for April 14th or 18th? Wow, both of them came out fast. Thank you. Aurora, you are flying high right now, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become in inspired by your, your example. A lot of people, the masses, are going through breaking down of programmings and um, systems that they've always had. And this is including like different religious structures that have made them feel one way or the other and their beliefs starting to change. So some of them are not going to be resonating, a lot of them, okay, I'm hearing a lot of them are not going to be resonating with the things that you're sharing, the things that you're posting, the things that you're talking about, the way that you act, you know, the different beliefs that you may have now. However, eventually they'll start to understand why you feel the way that you do and maybe they won't believe everything that you believe. However, it's not... It's not about us trying to teach people to believe what we believe. However, it's about teaching about love and light and being that love and light. And they will start to see that's exactly what we are is love and light. Okay. So they'll soon be inspired by us. Some of, some of these people may eventually come back for healing or what have you. If you're a healer, um, reach out to you for, you know, just information, guidance, what have you. <clears throat> And, and with this card, I'm also getting a sense that a lot of people are astral traveling now or starting to have out-of-body experiences, some of you. There's different forms of out-of-body. I have out-of-body experiences where my spirit just leaves my body in a certain 
okay, a certain piece of it will leave my body and go to different places and I'm still consciously aware of my physical body. I don't completely shut down. I don't feel like I completely shut down or fall asleep or what have you. And then there's other ones where I'm completely out of body. My body completely goes limp. I can't open my eyes. I have no control over my physical human body, but I'm just completely in the spiritual realm. So there's so many different ways of experiencing this. Some of you are going through that. Congratulations. That's a really cool experience to have. A lot of people are, have been taking my suggestions and meditating also, congratulations, I'm hearing um, a lot of people, their crown chakra and third eye are opening up as well as what I'm hearing. A lot of intuitive visions, a lot of insight into the future or knowings I'm hearing. And then a lot of people are also getting um, a lot of creative ideals and wanting to do those things. Like this card is talking about the things that you um, have always thought about doing but never actually tried to do these things are going to start being done you're going to start feeling more pushed and pulled into doing things that are different yes already are is what i'm hearing shanti i'm the angel of peace i bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead and i'm hearing abundance a lot of people are just really aligned with the energy of abundance right now a lot of people are starting to fill in their in um their personal power the solar plexus is starting to be very awakened very alive very much in tune and in alignment is what I'm hearing. So a lot of people are just really starting to feel their purpose, their place in life. Um, the meaning of life is what I'm hearing, but a lot of abundance with this card, abundance of peace, time, energy, financial security for some of you. A lot of people that are entrepreneurs are really starting to see money come into their business, even during these trying times in, in, in our uh, economy right now or what have you. You guys know what I mean. Which cards am I supposed to go to now? Thank you. Universal energies. What messages do you have, please, for April 14th through 18th, 2020? For all individuals already aware they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process. Am I supposed to take both of those? Thank you. Adjustments are required. This is the third quarter moon card. And I get this really strong feeling that, that a lot of people are just knowing exactly what these adjustments are. Seven people are knowing these adjustments before they're, they're even coming up to be adjusted, if that makes sense. So, um, I just shared in a video a couple days ago, I was out taking a hike and I was talking about, you know, feeling rejected and working past some of those things and realized that a lot of it had to do with people in my past, the way that they treated me and things like that. And I'm not receiving that in a lot of my relationships in this current timeline. And I miss that. However, <laughs> I see you. However, um, like I'm starting to make those adjustments, not allow myself to expect so much out of people. That's an adjustment that I have to make. That's something that I've always done. I've always set expectations and it lets me down every time. So I've, I'm adjusting to that. And I was told to tell you guys two, 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 three, and I didn't see it, but I was told to tell you guys that. But anyway, um, that's what this is talking about is just those adjustments that are coming up that and, and I feel like it's it's every day, like just adjustments that people are making every day. Adjustments to the way that they think, the way that they act, the way that they dress even, um, the way that you treat people and yourself, the way that you love yourself. This is about unconditional love as well, that adjustment and not judging people, not fearing um, also what other people are thinking about you. People are starting to become more fearless. They're facing their fears, so they're becoming more empowered which is what this card is talking about. I mean, this card is talking about is becoming empowered, feeling like you're stepping into your personal power. Congratulations. I'm hearing all kinds of like clapping and cheering and, and bells and whistles and stuff. Like that's what I hear when they're saying you're on the right track, you're doing the right thing. They're, they're really happy that we're doing what we're doing. The answers you need are coming. And I'm getting a throat chakra feeling off of this one. I feel like a lot of people are uh, stepping into their truth just being aligned with with truth is what I'm hearing but um, something to do with the throat chakra people feeling like they need to speak or um, not afraid to say things that they've been wanting to say for a long time um, for some of you this is answers and knowing exactly how to put your gifts out there some of you this is about moving into a place um, having a, a place to live, something like that. I feel like that message is resonating with me. Let me scoot that back so you can see this card better. But um, this could be anything. 
a lot of people, because they're meditating, are starting to get connect connected with the Ascended Masters, with some, um, uh, I don't like calling them aliens, but other beings from other star systems, other universes. Congratulations as well on that. A lot of awakenings, which is what I kept getting with this card, the slow down card. Like a lot of awakenings are happening because people are slowing down. They're meditating. They're taking time to pray for people. They're taking time to fall in love with themselves all over again. That's me. <laughs> I'm hearing this again. I love it. What cards am I supposed to go to now? Okay, thank you. I was trying to keep this reading short, and I guess, you know, doing that. Am I supposed to take all three of these? Okay, thank you. Chimpanzee. Use both your intuition and your intellect to solve the problem and to get the answers to your questions. Prayer, meditation, fasting. Let go of things that need to be let go of. That's what that message is saying. Slow down. Weasel. Be silent. Pay attention and simply observe with your eyes, ears, and physical feelings what is happening inside and all around you. A lot of you are starting to feel your life force energy, kundalini, the Holy Spirit, whatever you want to call it. A lot of people are very connected with the energy of love, abundance, peace, um, and starting to connect with flash, the flashes of light, the orbs, streaks of light, mists of light, all kind. You're connecting with the spiritual side of things, the astral uh, aspect of things. Congratulations. A lot of congratulations today. A lot of cheering. So just feel good about it, guys. Be empowered by what they're saying, you know, by the congratulations that they're giving you because it is a hard challenge or a task to get to where you're at. So pat yourself on the back. Go buy yourself some flowers. Go treat yourself to an ice cream. Do something for yourself to make yourself feel good today. Do, do some painting of your nails, what have you. Emu, this is a good time to go on a new adventure. I'm just going to leave that right there, guys. Okay, I am not going to get any confirmation cards today because this reading has went on long enough. I'm trying to get these readings down to a lower time so people will watch them all the way through. However, I've been guided to do more, more uh, healing and stuff, so it kind of makes them longer, so I don't know what to do. And I'm here and just do what you're doing. <laughs> okay, anyway, you guys see what you're supposed to see. And by the way, I want to thank everybody um, who has donated to my channel recently. If you're donating to my channel, thank you. It's greatly appreciated. I haven't had a whole lot of appointments lately. So anything that comes in is greatly appreciated. I am so grateful. Thank you. The first I am affirmation is I am adventurous. I am joyful every day. I will create joy for others. Let me say that one again. I am joyful every day. I will create joy for others. I am unconditional love. I am ascending to Christ consciousness. Okay, guys. Everybody, if you could please like, share, subscribe, and follow. Let me know if this reading and this anchoring exercise uh, resonate with you. And everybody have a wonderful uh, day. I love you. Bye.